So it's 2020, and a little over a year ago, I released a video about transferring files from your PC to your iPad using the AirDisk Pro app. That video still gets a lot of comments to this day, but it is now very out of date. So if you're new to my channel, I'm Chris, and today I'm going to show you several ways on how you can transfer files across your iOS devices to a PC or Mac without any apps. So please consider smashing that like button and subscribing if you find this information useful. To start off, the easiest way to do this if you're in the Apple ecosystem is to simply use AirDrop. To do this, hit the share button on your iOS device and then select your targeted device. Now here's a tip not many people know about. If you're on your iPhone or iPad and you're noticing that the quality isn't quite perfect once you've sent it, there's a reason for that. iOS compresses your photos and videos when sent by default over AirDrop. So to send the original file, hit options and select individual photo or video. To airdrop from your Mac, all you have to do is drag the files into the airdrop tab that's in the finder window and then drop your files on the targeted device. Now for a more direct connection with your PC or Mac, we're going to need to set up an SMB connection. To do this on your PC, you will need to set up a shared folder or drive and then assign a username or password to it. Simply right click on your chosen drive or folder, hit properties, navigate to sharing, click advanced sharing and tick share this folder. Now click on permissions, add a name and click OK. And then below that, assign the permissions to that username. Now to do this on a Mac, head to System Preferences, click on Sharing and then tick File Sharing on the left. Now simply use the plus icon to add folders or drives that you wish to share and then add the associated permissions. Now head back to your iPad and open the Files app. Tap the three dots above the Browse section and select Connect to Server. Here you'll be asked to enter the address. On your Mac, you'll find this address in the file sharing settings. On your PC, head to your network properties and enter your IPv4 address before the forward slash. Once you've entered this address, enter the username and password for that device and click login. Now you're able to send and receive files to your Mac or PC using your iPad. Now another way to transfer files is to use a USB hard drive. For the latest iPad Pros, you can use any USB-C hard drive that is formatted in anything other than NTFS. If you have a hard drive that isn't USB-C, I'd recommend picking up one of these USB-C adapter cables. They come in all varieties and I'll link to several in the description below. If you're using an iPhone or an iPad with a lightning connector, you'll need a powered lightning to USB adapter. I'll also link that in the description. From here, you can simply copy data over to your iPad using the Files app. With a hard drive plugged in, it's simple. Head to your Files app, and then you can drag and drop or copy as you wish. So that's it. This is the updated way to do it on your iPad and iOS devices in 2020. There's now no need to download any additional apps as it's all built directly into the software. So thanks for watching. I hope you found all of this information useful. If so, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button.